this is himabindu uh, assistant professor in iavri college from the department of cs id so today in this video i would like to explain about the theory of computation subject so what are this theory of computation and what the subject contains and how this mathematical model is going to be uh, found in the real time so here the first topic is about the uh, definition of theory of computation so uh, we will divide this theory of computation into two parts. We will say that uh, what is meant by computation? Any task that can be performed by calculator or computer. So what is meant by computation in the sense any task that can be performed by a calculator and computer. So it is a mathematical model of computer or any machine. So it is a, what is meant by com computation in the sense it is a mathematical model of a computer or a machine. And what is meant by theory? So what is the theory contains? So what are the capabilities of machine uh, problems solved by the machine limitations of machines? So these are all comes under the theory. So overall theory of computation is nothing but it is a, a mathematical model and the theory which contains the capabilities of machine and problem solved by the machine and limitations of the machine. And main what is the definition of this theory of computation? So it is a branch of computer science that deals with how efficiently problem can be solved on a model of computation using algorithms. So in this subject, we have uh, mathematical models have uh, uh, finite automata and push down automata and Turing machine. So each model is having his own benefits and disadvantages. So we'll see in the further videos how it is the model uh, uh, model different from one model to another model and next so this theory of computation can be divided into three main branches so what are those we'll see so first one is about the automata theory and language and second one is about the computability theory and third one is about complexity theory so what the first one the automata theory and language so which deals with the definition and properties of various mathematical model of computation so here we'll say the definitions of mathematical uh, mathematical model. So here uh, the mathematical model, various mathematical models are called a finite automata. So finite automata and uh, push down automata and Turing machines. So these are the two, three types of mathematical models we are going to discuss in this subject. So first one is about the finite automata. So this deals with uh, uh, discriminate finite automata, non-discriminate finite automata, epsilon finite automata. So there is uh, so many models in this finite automata. And next one is about the computability theory. So it deals with that cannot uh, can and cannot be computed by the model. So what are the limitations of every model? So previously we discussed about the mathematical models of computation. So in that model, every model is having the own benefits and limitations. So this deals with the computability theory. And next complexity theory. So it is a group of the computable problems based on their headness, hardness. So based on the hardness, we will give the uh, complexity of the theory to the models. And next one, what is the main purpose of this theory of computation? So what is the main purpose in the sense theory of computation develop a formal mathematical model of computation that reflects the real world computers. So nowadays we are everyone is using the uh, computers. So in that internally what is going to be happen in the compilers and that is going to be reflected in the theory of computation. And Alan Turing. So Alan Turing is the person who is the father of modern computer science and he is also a mathematical uh, English mathematician studied abstract machines called Turing machines. So even before computer existed. So he is the person who is responsible for this uh, finite automata and Turing machine and uh, push down automata theory of computation. And what are the central concepts of uh, automata theory? We'll discuss. So main basic components, what we need for this mathematical model, we'll discuss. So these are all called as central concepts of automata theory. 
So first one is about the alphabet. The basic thing what we need for the mathematical model is alphabet. So an alphabet is a finite non-empty set of symbols. So we use symbol sigma uh, to denote an alphabet. So this is the symbol we are going to uh, denote an alphabet. So here we have so many examples. If you take a binary, so first one is about the binary which is having the 0 and 1 as an alphabet. So, so the sigma which contains 0 and 1. The, this is the binary format. So in the binary format we have zeros and 1s and all lowercase letters. So the sigma which contains lowercase letters A, B, C up to Z. And one more alpha, one more example, alphanumeric, alphanumeric. So alphanumeric which contains the alphabets A to Z, capital A to Z and 0 to 9. So one, one more example, DNA molecule letters and these are all called as alphabets. Those that alphabets or entire alphabets are represented in the sigma. And what next one is about the strings. So what is meant by strings? So a string or word is a finite sequence of symbols. So previously we discussed what is meant by alphabet. So it is a, here the string is nothing but is it, it is a collection of alphabets. We can say that it is a collection of alphabets. And those the symbols which are chosen from the sigma. So sigma is nothing but it is an alphabet and empty string is epsilon. So empty string is also considered as a string. And next one, the length of string. So W. So the the the, the string which is having the length. So W, which is denoted in the two vertical bars. So that is called as length of the string. So we can see with the example. So here it is a string. So X is equal to zero one zero one double zero. So if it is a string, so that what is the length of the string in the sense it is represented in the the two vertical bars. And here we have zeros and ones so the six is the count so we have six zeros and uh, zeros and ones and this is the length and x and y so we can perform the concatenation operation of two strings x and y so if it first suppose x is having the length four and we can uh, concatenate with the y is having the three length so we can concatenate with the both uh, strings in one operation. So this is about the concatenation and next one is about the power of an alphabet. Previously we see that sigma is having the alphabets. So in that alphabets what are the powers of an alphabet we will see. So let a sigma be the alphabet and sigma of a sigma power k it is a set of all strings of length k. So sigma power 1. So here a and b are the two alphabets. So here on to A and B are the two alphabets. So first suppose if you take A and B as an alphabets for the sigma power 1, sigma power 2, we can perform the concatenation operation sigma sigma. So it is a combination of two alphabets. So A and B. So here A with the A and B, we can have the, these are the three possibility, these are the four possibilities with the A and B alphabets. That is the sigma power 2. If we can also perform sigma power star. So sigma power star is nothing but. So star which also contain the empty string. And it is with the alphabets. One time alphabet and two times alphabets. And it is going to be happen for the infinite time. And next one sigma plus. So sigma plus which is does not containing. Does not contain. A sigma 0, sigma star 0. So here the sigma star, uh, sigma 0 is nothing but empty string. So which is not there in the sigma plus. So that is the main difference for between the star and plus. And next one is about the what is the central concept of the theory of computation. So one more concept is languages. So a language is said to be a language over alphabet sigma. So only if L subset of L, uh, sigma star. So this is a because of sigma star is the set of all strings of all possible length including 0. So here previously we discussed that sigma star is having the empty string also included in the string's length. 
so over the given alphabet so how many symbols how many alphabets we have in the sigma that is all to be happened in the sigma star so we'll see the examples so here the l1 is a set of all strings of length 2 so first suppose we already discussed the length of the string so here uh, this sigma is having uh, a and b as an alphabets so with the length of 2 what we can perform so language 1 is having a length of 2 so length of 2 in the sense we have to give a string as a combinations a a a b and b a and b b so these are the all possibilities of string length of 2 and next example so length of so these are all the combinations of two uh, length of two and l2 so, so that we can also perform the set of all strings of length 3 so what that what are those we'll see uh, these are all possibilities with the length of a a b a a c like that and here if you observe that uh, here uh, sigma is having only a comma b and if sigma is having a b and c we can also have the length like this a a a a a b and a a c and like that and so on we can also have the length with these three alphabets and next we'll see the uh, one more example of this language so here is the uh, language 3 the set of strings where each string starts with a so here there is a condition called every string is going to be start with a like this here it is a example i am showing so here we we don't have any length so there is no limitation of length we can we can start with this so here the every string should be starting with the start with a so here is the language and here the sigma what are the alphabets in this language is called a b c so uh, this is how we every string is going to be started with the a so that is a condition for the language 3 so here these are the examples of languages with the limitations and these are the examples of a a a a b like that and next so for suppose the string the language which does not contain any string so it how it is going to be denoted in the sense so here let l be the empty string so that is the epsilon so if it is having oh no nothing strings we have so we can denote it as a empty string epsilon so that is the language going to be uh, find out in the uh, pi and one more here where this uh, toc on the theory of computation uh, real time we can use so here if you see that here it is the example of c program so here in the c program we have the code so a code which contains the uh, code which contains the strings so here the strings like uh, o v o i d m a i n so everything is counted as a string so that is how we can written as a epsilon is equal to caps a to b and a small a to b and 0 to 1 and plus the special symbol everything should be there in the epsilon so these are all the symbols are alphabets so alphabets which are contained in the sigma and here we can represent all the program in the form of strings yes so in c it is a program in toc it is a string we can count it as a string and next a finite automata uh, what are the applications of this finite automata so software for designing and checking the behavior of digital circuits and lexical analyzer of typical compiler 
and software for scanning large, larger bodies of text like web pages so we can entirely if we want to scan the entire page of web page we read a requirement of uh, software for this scanning the entire web page for pattern findings and uh, software for verifying systems of all types of that have a finite number of states example a stock market transaction communication and network protocol so these are the real time examples of finite automata where we are using uh, this finite automata and next one is the examples of finite automata so if you take on and off switch we have the things like this so here it is a starting state so here it is a starting state and a final state we can represent so here off and on so first which we have only two option called on and off so if you perform push operation it is going to be on up on and if you perform a push operation on on it will go to the off so this is the basic example of finite automata and here we can represent it in the finite automata so here it is a action and this is the state so here how we are going to entire finite automata model going to be discussed so here we have actions and states and we'll see the one more example so modeling recognition of word that so previously we discussed a c program so that contains a, a strings like flower braces everything should be there in the form of strings so how this string is going to be recognized by this finite automata so that we uh, will discuss with the diagram so here it is a diagram so uh, in the diagram we have to initiate the state string so initiating the state so with the circle and after that we are we are going to give the input t and next t and h and e and n so finally how this going to be recognized in the sense then so this double circle representation is called final state and this initial state so this one is a initial state and for overall the first one is about the start state and the middle uh, this arrow mark representation is a transition and the middle intermediate state and finally it is a final state and what are the types of finite automata so we have two types of finite automata so first one is about the finite automata with output so finite automata without output so finite automata with output uh, we have two types of models one is mure and one is mid and without output we have three types of models one is dfa and next second one is about the nfa and epsilon nfa we'll discuss it in further videos in detail about the discriminate finite automata and non discriminate finite automata and epsilon non discriminate finite automata and let me summarize this video about this uh, introduction to the toc so previously we discussed about the introduction how this going to be uh, related with the real world and uh, what is the purpose of this toc and introduction to the automata theory and the central concepts of uh, toc like we have we discussed about the alphabet strings a languages and the power of an alphabet and what are the uh, applications of finite automata and how many types of finite automata we have thank you like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates